Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here with Bastide. Yes, you're right. It has been a good few weeks. I think about three, maybe even four weeks since the last episode was recorded and uploaded. And in that time, this game, which is still in very early access, has received a lot of updates. As you may recall, if you've checked out the Steam page and so on, or if you've watched the previous videos, the developers are giving this game pretty much daily updates, just tweaking, fixing, addressing issues, and responding very positively to customer feedback. Um, is that the right word? Player feedback? Yeah, whichever. Yeah, comments and suggestions from the community is feeding into the growth of the game, which is great to see. And that, that really is the point of early access. Um, and in that time since I last recorded this, quite a bit has changed. New features have been added, and as you can see, here's a couple of them listed here. Um, I have a suspicion this uh, the, the, the issue, the thing with the game is, is although we're getting pretty much daily updates uh, to the game, the announcements are issued on a weekly basis, and I have a suspicion that this screen here is sort of tied in to that weekly update. So I've just had a quick look at the game before starting the recording, and I have a suspicion I actually saw Brewery and Tavern in the game. So we're, they're all they're they're new. Um, I think the blacksmith and the tailor, which weren't in the last episode, have been added since. But there's also other great stuff that's been added. I'll just quickly run through a quick check, shall I? So we've got barracks now. So with there at the moment, just purely for defence, uh, enemy. Or enemy citizens or wherever they're coming from, enemy villagers, uh, will still attack you um, and you can't attack them yet. That's coming in, in a future update. That shouldn't be too far away, hopefully. Um, but you can now uh, use a blacksmith to create a barracks and you can actually build defensive walls which will help you defend against those um, enemy insurgents, if you will. Um, and we've also got a bridge which we'll quickly see. So I think there's a bridge already placed in the game, but you can now build new ones if you want to sort of go to different parts of the map. Defensive walls already mentioned. Uh, performance improvements have been made throughout. Um, that's obviously an ongoing process with any game in this, this kind of state. We also have auto save, which apparently saves every five minutes, which seems a little bit frequent to me, but um, I, well, it all helps actually. <laughs> Certainly with early access games, things change and reliability can be an issue. But I've had no trouble at all playing this game so far. Uh, what else have we got? Stone, that, that the look and feel of some buildings, the, the characteristics of some buildings have been changed. We'll, we'll see some of those. Um, oh, one great thing, which I was so grateful to see. Uh, if we go into the options here in gameplay, we have some new funky sliders. Yes, we can now define the maximum FPS uh, for our game. Um, I've read somewhere that 60 is good if you're recording for YouTube and so on, for, for video recording. So the game can go up to 200 or whatever it is there. It goes up very high. Um, but I've left mine at 60 just to see if it makes things any better. Uh, you can change the speed at which you move around the map. Now this was a bugbear of mine in the previous episode where I, I always use the mouse to move around. So either sort of by holding the left button or whatever button it is and using that to, nav to navigate or using edge scrolling. Um, I very seldom use the WASD keys, which I know a lot of gamers do use those. They're familiar with that way of, of using, of playing games. It's just not my style. But the developer responded very positively and has added these sliders. So you can change the speed at which the camera moves across the map for both mouse, edge scrolling, and also for the keyboard. So if you're using the WASD keys to move around, then you can adjust the speed for that as well. That is, that's, it sounds trivial, but it, it makes such a difference to how good you feel about a game. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, some changes in the sort of uh, production processes of the amount produced in things like bakeries and so on, and, and uh, mines and blacksmith and the like, uh, and various changes to the look and the look of the game, the the quality of the graphics. Anyway, enough waffling. Uh, oh, actually, just notice this: the future content, watchtowers. Fi oh, fishermen! I love fishermen. Um, no, I shouldn't stop that sentence there, should I? <laughs> actually, I'm not sure I know any fishermen. There, so anyway, stop waffling. Yeah, I in any of these sort of games, I always go for for the fishing 
uh, route for providing food. It's usually quick and simple and very effective. Um, so I'm glad to see that here. We're going to have merchants. We're going to have laws. We're going to have prisons. It's going to be interesting to see how that's uh, going to play through. What that's going, what's going to happen there. And a tech tree. Excellent. I'm really loving the, the forward thinking for this game, the, the plans they have for it. Anyway, let's get into where I left off at the end of the last episode, more or less. So here we are. Um, if you can hear the music, I do keep the game sound fairly low, but they are adding as well as all the graphical and production and all the rest of it. There, there are new music tracks added to it as well. So that's always improving and evolving. So where are we at the moment? Uh, we're in September. So the weather is getting a bit cooler, wetter and so on. You see this mouse movement, that is so much better. That's fast, I'm happier with that. That is good. <laughs> um, so yeah, things are getting cooler. So people are likely to start going to need, to need clothes. So we need to think about putting in a tailor to create clothes. Now clothes are made, if I go into here. Uh, resources is it? No, production. Taylor, there you are. Oh, it doesn't tell you how they make clothes, but they need leather, wool, or something else. Cloth, perhaps? Uh, actually, what's the resource list? Uh, what do we have here? We have clothing, cloth, leather, and wool. Okay, so I do appear to have the ability here. I think it's a one-for-one -one equation. So I could create 14 items of clothing from my tailor. Which is handy because I currently have nine people uh, in the village, but I do have space for 12, as you can see up here. Uh, now, one thing I noticed in a recent update uh, is there's obviously balance issues going on here and tinkering with values of things. This I was not happy with at all, largely because I wasn't prepared <laughs> to, to, for, for how this affected my particular game is he's changed the requirements for the buildings. Uh, so obviously this is a balance thing and, and these will change over time. Now, if I remember correctly, in the previous episode, say three weeks or so ago, this thatched hut cost me 15 wood. It now costs 24. I don't have that much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my foresters working overtime. Uh, I have got two foresters. Yep, they're working there. They've produced 21 already. I'm not quite sure what the rate of production is. Um, but they'll need to up their game if I'm going to get another house in here. But to be honest, 12 people should be enough. Now, one thing uh, I noticed, which other players do, um, but because I don't play these sort of games very often, and if I do, what I tend to do is I set something up in motion and I just leave it there and it carries on playing out that way. So for example, when I put um, two miners into my mine here, I could have three, but I put two in there, I will tend to leave them there. But what the more intelligent and strategic players or, would, would do is they would adjust the, uh, the population so that people were employed in jobs when they were needed. Now at the moment, I have got 20 stone, which I think is a fair amount but I do need more trees. So what I would do, or what intelligent players would do, is say, I don't need that many people in the mine. We'll just take that down to one person. And that other person can be a free laborer who can go around and chop trees on instruction. Yeah, let's chop that one down as well. Okay, so they will do that. Uh, now, we notice we've got messages here saying we have no tools left. That's not a big issue at the moment. Tools will be used by miners and they will be more productive with tools. But they can mine using just their bare hands, apparently. So <laughs> we'll leave them do that. And a low amount of clothes. So if we go into my resource list here, we currently have three clothes. Now, people, when they are clothed or they are carrying tools, they, they're, the list here, the people list, will be updated to show that person has clothing or that person and or that person has a tool and as you can see here nobody is wearing clothes at the moment either because the clothes they came to the village in are still fine they're working or it isn't yet cold enough to need clothes um, but thankfully we're not seeing naked villagers in our village 
I don't know what you're doing, sir, but you should stop that immediately. Should we hunt that goat? Let's hunt that. We could always do with more food. Okay, let's just check up our paddocks. 10 out of 10. How many chickens? Oh, we could do with more chickens. Uh, what are you? You're a chicken. No. We must already have you then. Uh, the sound effects have been changing. So they've added more sound effects. So, for example, we now get a different sound effect when a chicken lays an egg. I hadn't noticed they had one before, to be honest, but uh, that's good to know. Okay. It looks like... Oh, it is early morning. So why are these people up? They should be in bed. Oh, no. One thing that uh, was, I think, scheduled, or is scheduled for an update soon, is the... The nighttime speed will change. It will be possible to actually click directly through nighttime. Uh, so you can sort of ignore the fact your people are doing nothing. I'm not quite sure why they're actually out and working at this point. Yeah, I'm not sure our creatures, our beasts, if you will, are wandering around the outside of their paddocks. What are you? You're a goat. You're not being hunted yet. You're a pig. Do we, we don't have a pig pasture, do we? Exactly, we don't have pasture for pig. Thank you. So we'll hunt you for food. Uh, how are we doing for food, actually? Total food, 17. Ooh, we've got 10 people in the village already. That's... Ooh, hang on. This is new. At the top right here. Uh, let me just... There you go. <laughs> 99%. I've got a happiness rating, I think. That's cool. Which is fine, because nobody is freezing. Nobody is ill. And nobody is starving yet. Uh, time will tell. Okay, let's get through. Uh, I think the, the lighting has changed a bit. Cause it used to be darker at night time, but then again, dawn is rapidly approaching. So, anyway, uh, what I was thinking... Uh, actually, now we've got more people. We could put that miner back, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why we've still got two labourers. Okay, um, we could do with a tailor for clothes. Uh, so, can I build that tailor yet? Uh, production, tailor. I need 15 wood. And I've got eight still. I need to get this moving on. Oh, and there's Dawn. Oh, I was talking about the... Yes, yeah, so we've got the tavern here already. Uh, we've got the brewery here that's already here so as I said that front screen I think refers to the, the 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 latest weekly update so it may not be entirely accurate for the latest daily update we've only got seven chickens out of our possible ten so are there any more roaming around that we can capture I'm not seeing all our foresters are carrying the wood back I was thinking he's looked a little bit naked then, but he's not, thankfully. Um, actually, I'm assuming gender there, which... Uh, the bridge. That is lovely blue water, isn't it? I like that. The bridge is quite easy to construct uh, when we come to want to use one. So click on bridge. And if I drag it across there, it doesn't want... Oh, there it does. There's a little delay there. That costs me too much. But you'll see it does... You can... The, the length of the bridge does determine how much it costs. So it's just a, a sort of click and drag exercise. So that's quite nice. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Where's our labourers? What are you doing? Oh, ah, this is new as well. Little icons here to say whether they've got clothes or not. Or tools. Oh, that's very handy. He's killed two things. Oh, okay. Well done you. Uh, anything else out here we can... Actually, these lay these uh, foresters... What's that? Who are you? What are you doing? You're a forester. You're a labourer. You go I want you to cut down that tree. Go and do that. Or is he going to pick up that piece of wood? Oh, excellent! So he's not actually a forester, but we he will assist the foresters in doing their job. Well, this is really good. Okay, we've got 21 stone, 12 wood. I need to get this moving on a bit faster. Uh, what are you? You're a goat. Let's hunt you. 
Still looking for spare chickens to put into my pasture. Are we still at the seven or have they... Uh, eight? Ah, maybe we're hatching eggs. Eleven. Ah, right now. What I, I suspected previously, you may recall, is that when we get excess capacity, they might... There, one's gone. No, I didn't notice that. That... Yeah, twenty-one... Yeah, I, I think they are automatically slaughtered when you get uh, over and above your capacity. So, yeah, I think it looks as if the, the graphics changes that have been made... Who are you? You're a goat. Or a sheep, rather. We can hunt you. Um, they, it has re they have reduced the, uh, the number of sort of polygons, the number of... Um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not sure. But he's made the models a little bit simpler to improve the the speed, the graph, the performance of the game, which is fine. Right. Oh, I've got 22 wood. Right. So can I build build that tailor? Because it is currently September still. Uh, so I could do with clothes before it gets that cold. Uh, I need to be in production. So I want a tailor. Where are we going to stick this guy? Uh, Let's stick you down here. Oh, good. I'm seeing collision detecting working better. Actually, let's just check that on the houses. Because the houses were a problem before. No, let's... Wood hut. Yeah, that's much... Yeah, yeah. They're obviously fixing a lot of the collision issues. But uh, we were, were there. Taylor. Okay, so... Uh, click on... Taylor, and where are we going to put you? One thing that would be nice, actually, think, I was thinking about this when I was watching uh, another video of the game, was when you're spinning the house to see where you want to put it, you can see, ah, oh, that's the front of it, there's the door and the steps up. It might be nice to have some other indication, like an arrow, or something to say this is the front of, or this is the entrance to a building. So if we put the tailor there, for no particularly good reason, but somewhere to put it, Okay. Oh, the temperature's gone up today. Well, actually, when we were looking at it first, it was kind of night time, wasn't it? So we would expect temperature to be lower. I'm still looking for chickens. We've got eight now. And as night draws in, what are you? Aha! Right, good. More chickens to the coop. It is slight... Oh, I, of course, these are free-range chickens, I suppose. So they're not in coops or factory farms or anything like that, which is cool. Uh, okay, do we have... We can get that tree down. Uh, we could always do with more stone. Is there any free stone around? Well, there is. Yeah, we'll bring you in as well. Now, I'm not sure if you get different values out of different size rocks. So this rock looks a bit bigger than that one. So do you get different amounts of stone out of them? Like you get more wood from a big tree than you do from a little tree. Oh, well, there's quite a bit of stone over there as well. Uh, okay. Uh, we've still got three clothes. Actually, is our tailor... Oh, I, I did set the build order to the end of the day, didn't I? So, uh, they won't finish building the tailor's workshop until tomorrow morning. So, it's 2.15 in the morning. Let's uh, run through until the, until dawn and see what happens then. Well, the sun has risen on this brand new day. And, uh, yeah, we're at sort of the edge of our valley, whatever. Well, there's certainly mountains, so we're enclosed within this enclave. And where am I? This doesn't look like my village. It's not. It's somewhere else. And I can't click on these buildings or these people. These must be the... Uh, the unpleasant people who come and raid and kill my villagers. Yep, I, so I, I just, while night time was rolling through, I just scrolled across the map and uh, just uh, went across the bridge. There is a bridge built into the game already. Uh, where is it? <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. Yep. So that's where the enemy village is. So presumably it's this end of the map I need to keep an eye on uh, for my for the protection of my village. So if I were to build a defensive wall, it would have to be around here. 
uh, on there. Let's uh, get the game moving on a bit. Can I? Uh, I'm not seeing a wall there yet. Oh, I can build a wood wall. So, uh, I click that there. Uh, I don't know how that works. Wood. Hmm. Okay, but I have to. Do I have to click on. Either left click or click on build, presumably. Or right click. I can use the E and Q to rotate it. I'm not sure what's going on there. But we'll work at that. Okay, so they. Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> If you're hoping to see my tailor's building being built, I'm sorry, we missed it. But as you can see, we've got the empty man symbol there. So we just need to get someone. We can get two tailors. Oh, it needs two. Again, I think this has changed since the last time I looked at the game. Uh, it needs two cloth, two leather, or two wool to make one piece of clothing. All right, uh, let's get the game rolling on. Oh, so October and it's 14.7 degrees centigrade. Do you know, a quick, quick word. Um, if um, if you can, can we have an option for Fahrenheit as well? I mean, I know people in the UK and Europe don't tend to use Fahrenheit anymore, but I'm an old fashioned kind of guy and I still like Fahrenheit temperatures. And I think Fahrenheit is still used in the US of A. Might be wrong. If, I, if, if you are an American or if you are familiar with Americans, can you confirm or deny the fact that America still uses Fahrenheit for temperature? What have we got? Oh, we've got ten chickens. Got five eggs out of them. Ten cows. Got eight leather. That's good. What we could do with, actually, is another pasture for sheep. So uh, let's build that. Uh, we want uh, food, is it? A pasture. Uh, well, I, I'm still not entirely convinced by how this. Oh, there, I clicked it and it worked. Let's do that again. Uh, click pasture. So if I click here, and it draws out. So that's the top. All ah, right, yes, yeah, so that's the one corner. So you either drag it that direction, that direction, whichever direction you want to drag it in to make your pasture. So there we go. And that is going to be a pasture for sheep. And you're our first candidate. For capturing. Oh, I need someone to be farmer though, don't I? There you go. And they will give us wool. And presumably, uh, production is it? Not a brewery. Resources, uh, food, the mill, the but uh, I'm not sure what's what spins. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what would spin um, wool into cloth. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what are you? Uh, let's get out of that. What are you? Click, click. Oh, I have to get closer, do I? <laughs> I want to click you. You're a pig. We'll hunt you down. Oh, is that a chicken? Are you been? You're the one that's been captured. Oh no, we've already got a fill of. Of chickens. What we're looking for is more sheeps. There you go, there's another one. Now you may have noticed that uh, we've got a one up here which means that someone is ill, which suggests I'm in need of a healer's hut. Uh, so, oh there we are, only six wood and two stone, I can afford that, and you're probably best place sort of close to the living quarters. I think. So let's rotate you a little bit. Where's your entrance? Oh, there it is. Uh, actually, shall we put you on an angle? That'll be good. We'll place you down there. This is quite good, isn't it? I'm always scheduling the building of new buildings late in the evening. <laughs> so people don't have a chance to... I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any spare labourers. So let's get rid of a miner for the moment. Okay, and oh you see and you see here the icons for clothes. So these people have now got new clothes. So if we go to Alice 
And there you are, there's a tick. You can just make it out, that little button is ticked that Alice now has clothes. And uh, to make our mind even more productive, oh, which reminds me, I saw something during the night time which uh, I didn't remark on. Did that sheep just come out of the mine? Hmm. Uh, my mine, oh, is gathering both stone, well, both, it was just bronze earlier, so we're getting bronze and iron out of there, which is good. And the healer's hut, when it gets built, which will be tomorrow morning now, will uh, we'll take herbs. I presume they actually gather the herbs as well, and then turn them into medicine. Or is there actually uh, a gather? Was a was there a gatherer's hut? Oh yeah, we need a gatherer as well, do we? Right, um, but do I need another house first? I don't know where they're going to find these herbs. Now, again, that's slightly different to the way the forester worked, where you saw the area that they would be foresting in. Uh, but uh, I don't know about the herbs. I think we'll have to wait till morning to find that out. So let's uh, actually we're nearly at morning now, so we'll find that out. Ah, I don't know if this is new. The escape button takes you back to this menu of choices, which is handy, so you can change your options and stuff if you want to at this point mid-game, or indeed go, go into a save, um, or go back to the main menu, which I don't want to do. Um, it'd be nice to have some sort of way of getting out of this menu rather than just having to click that, which is easy enough, but I like to have something like the escape key as a way of getting out of menus. What are you? What are... Come, come back here. Let me identify you. What are you? Interesting, it's not... Well, there you are. Let's capture you. Alright, well, we've got two ill people there. Right, is anybody going to be building? Ah, we do have our one labourer, John, who is wearing clothes. Excellent. Who is building the healer's hut. Uh, we do do really need four. We do need the three farmers because I have got the three. Sorry, the animal farmers there. Um, and actually, do we need two farmers here? I think food is looking okay. Actually, we're doing quite well for food. Thirty-seven. That's good. We have four herbs in stock at the moment to make medicine from. Uh, which is that's a one-to-one -one. that's good so we've put a healer in there but I'm going am I going to need more people because they are all fully occupied at the moment unless I reduce the forester count oh the, I was going to reduce the farmer count wasn't I that's was what I was going to do so let's take you down to one farmer so we can build a gatherer now are we, where are the herbs in here? Do you know where the herbs are? See these little sort of stones? Are they collectible items at all? Should we hunt that pig? Yes. There you go. Uh, so is, oh, I can't zoom any closer, but that looks like it might be an herb. It does. So I click on the healer's hut. Difficult to tell. What we'll do, we'll set a gatherer. I hope these foresters are going to re reforest the the, uh, the forest area here. I don't want that to be entirely denuded. I mean, that's the whole point of a forester is forest management. It's not just chopping down wood willy nilly. So uh, let's we need a gatherer's hut. I think to get those herbs in for our healer to heal our people uh, so we'll put you out here shall we not quite a big building aren't you uh, where's the entrance that will be the entrance there I think there you go good I like the, the sound effects are, are good the music is is fine I'm not at all have no problem at all with the music 
that's very effective and the sound effects are quite nice as well we've got nine sheep oh excellent our clothing is doing very nicely we've got almost everyone fully clothed we've cured one people well our happiness is getting lower it's gone down to 87 percent um so it would be nice if you could click through this illness icon here or see some representation of their state of health their health or their hunger uh, or their condition generally up here so they could be cold they could be ill they could be hungry It'd be nice to see who it was here so you could click on them and say oh it's you isn't it so Layla is 74 your hundred oh yeah it looks like clothing is the key to health here yeah, Hugh. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, it looks like Hugh is the... So clothing isn't necessarily. <laughs> He's only 87% happy. Layla uh, is a forester. Uh, yeah. Is everybody 87%? Oh, no, you're 89% happy. Well, that's good. Okay. Uh, how many... We've got two tailors, so we could release one tailor. What do I have in stock for? Uh, I've got one leather, one cloth. Oh, I suppose you can't mix them. Oh, no, that's interesting. Um, we've got a clothing here of three. Now, when I was looking at the clothing before, before I started the recording, my understanding was, was that people who needed clothing would get it automatically they pick it up like tools if they needed tools they'd pick up tools automatically um, and you wouldn't see anything in the stockpile unless you had an excess now obviously we had nobody wearing clothes until I till I started sort of until I had the tailor working so I'm not quite sure where this three is do you need to assign them? Do they you actually need to tell them to pick the clothes up ah ah right okay so the warehouse has no clothing but there is clothing three there. That's a discrepancy, I think. Ah, okay. Right, so, who have we got as labourers? Uh, we've taken one of the tailors out. We've taken one of the farmers out. We'll put that person back on the farm. So, we've still got... Oh, no, we have no labourers at all now. They're all fully occupied. So, I'm going to need more wood to add more people by building a new house and you know what we'll do that in the next episode so i think we've gone through two days here we've had a nice you know improvement to the village we're getting more productive we're getting both food and clothing from our cattle um, pasture there and our chickens are also producing food a good quality oh nice quantity of eggs there 17 as is our farm our foresters and our miners are doing sterling work, keeping us uh, fully resourced. We now have a tailor to turn the clothing we're getting from our cattle and from our sheep uh, into cloth or clothing. And we now have people to keep our, um, our villagers happy. Oh, and well, and it's November and it's snowing and the, temp oh, the temperature has dropped. Uh, so we may need firewood soon as well. <laughs> so, I think, oh, if you go up close, you don't see the snow. That's handy. This is quite a nice screenshot, actually. Let's get rid of you. Um, would be nice, uh, some games do this, is if you can get a HUD-free view, or a free camera view of, the, uh, of your landscape and your village for screenshot purposes. Now, the sheep are nice because they're nice bright white. The cattle are lovely, but they're looking a bit dull. I don't see ten in there. Unless they're sort of hiding within each other, like those two are. Yeah. Okay. Oops. And uh, you're... Are you hungry? You're starving. Why Why are you starving? Why are you... I was going to wrap this episode up, wasn't I? We've got 57 food. I think you just need to go home and feed. That's what that is. So I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, look again at Bastide. We will keep checking back. I don't know if it'll be part of the regular sort of weekly schedule or not. But uh, we will certainly keep an eye on 
the updates and keep bringing you new videos to show off the uh, the additions and changes to the game. I'm liking this. I'm trying to find a good angle for a screenshot. We might sit here for that. Um, so if you've enjoyed this episode of Basti, it'd be great to hear from you. A like would be lovely. Even better, though, if you've got any thoughts on it, any suggestions, tips, hints, criticisms, anything at all to say about the game or what the heck I'm doing with it, there's all my 10 cows. It'd be great to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. And, of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play videos. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Bastide. Until the next time, bye-bye for now. Thank you.